package.json and package.log.json are two files that are used to manage your packages in Node and NPM. Uh, those two files have confused me, to be frankly, for the longest time. Now that I have a little bit more clarity, I'd like to explain the difference between package.json, package.log.json, sim versioning, and all that stuff. Uh, how about we jump into it? So this is a little bit of a different uh, kind of videos. Uh, I usually do a talking head videos, but sometimes I do some sort of a coding and uh, hands-on tutorials like that. So if you like this stuff, subscribe. So I'm going to go ahead and create a, a beautiful folder here called test. And uh, I'm going to initialize a new project here. So let's do npm init dash y and uh, nothing, no projects here does fancy stuff. I'm going to create a new J JavaScript file here, and I'm going to just uh, require express in this my beautiful project. It doesn't have to be an actual application, you know, complete, because we're just focusing on the package.json here. Just the fact that I have done this, right? I have now a file, and I have package.json because I did an npm init. An npm init creates just literally an, an empty package.json. There is no dependency, nothing. No. So what I'm going to do here is do an npm install express because that's a package that I require in my application. And the moment you do npm install express, npm will update the package.json. First, it will download the express package, put it locally, and then update the package.json file, right? And it will tell you that, hey, this is the version I used. And we're going to talk about versioning in a minute. All right, all done. So two files were created. Package lock.json, we're going to come to that in a minute. And node modules, which is a large library of all the dependency that Express uses and probably your application in your case, right? So now if I go to package.json, what did you do to my file, my friend? What did you do? Look at this. It added a new dependency and and the version here is this is this called the sim versioning here all those three parts if you're familiar with that stuff so the first part is the patch you always update fix a bug you update a patch right and this is the minor yeah added a feature nice tidy feature bump that up you know and then reset the patch and the final one is the major which is hey you're installed you're introducing a breaking change huge breaking changes and it's like hey this is the major release so this is all this stuff so if you forgetting about the this carrot for a minute if you ask package digestion just exact identical 4.17.3 that you're telling node or npm to install that identical version because you don't trust anything else you trust 4.17.3 and that's pretty much it so because you tested your application on that version and you, you don't really want to upgrade however you're missing out on patches on minor features and stuff like that you know so that's why they add this notation the first one is carrot. The carrot, when you see the carrot here, there's there are two, carrot and the tilde, you know? The carrot, I'm probably pronouncing it, butchering the pronunciation there. <laughs> carrot is uh, basically saying that, hey, uh, feel free to upgrade the patch, right? Uh, that means anything, feel free to upgrade the patch, feel free to upgrade the minor. If there is a new version of the minor, sure. But keep this add version 4 keep the major version out of your effing mouth i don't know why i remembered that <laughs> so that major doesn't change that's what what needs to happen okay so 417 3 all right and there's the tilde the tilde tells you hey i'm a little bit more conservative here uh Feel free to upgrade the patch, but don't, don't touch my minor. Uh, you can go up to four, five, six, seven, whatever, you know, nine, I don't care. What was the origin value? I forgot. <laughs> yeah, but keep the 17 because I there is a feature in 17 and I know it works. Don't touch it. All right. So that's that's basically what it means. All right. So let's go ahead and, and keep this as is. It was a tilde and then uh, quit. Actually, I'm not going to save anything. Let's just quit. 
So now we have package.json, we understand that, right? And there's this huge node module, so which you absolutely shouldn't commit to your GitHub. I know I made this mistake. I sometimes push this thing in my rep and, and you guys call me out all the time. But yeah, you, you grow and learn. This is a large libraries. You never push it. There's no point of pushing this stuff. You can always generate it locally, right? It's always safer and, you know, keep your GitHub clean and uh, safe. There is no need to version this, you know? So you don't push this, but you always generate it from the package.json. But wait a minute, Hussein. My package.json is not really fixed. It keeps changing. So if I push this, right, and a new uh, minor is released, right, and someone downloaded my clone, my package, and I just, let's say I, 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 I certified my application 417.3, right? And now I push it and, hey, all works. Someone download the, the they clone the repo, right? They got 47, they, they do an NPM install. And what do what will they do? They, at that moment, let's say express release version 18, minor 18, right? What will happen is if you do an NPM install, you're not going to get 417, that version I did. You're going to get 418, and God knows what will happen at that point because I didn't test 18, right? You just happened to test, uh, you just happened to use uh, a newer version that I didn't test and that, that created a mess. So people, Node team actually invented this idea of package lock. When you install, the, when you install uh, or update your packages, a package lock that Jason created it's literally setting the actual version that are used on stones or in stones. Is it on stones or in stones? I could never tell the difference between the in and on. I swear, you know, English, very hard, my friends. So 4.17.3, right? So this is this is the dependencies. Package.json have all the dependencies and they are ident identical versions. You know, what actually was in a store. So... If you go to express here down, you can see that version 4.17.3 was actually the version that was installed. All right. That's the, actually the version was installed. That, that was actually that happened to be the latest, you know. So now, if I do this, if I change package.json and I say, hey, I don't trust 17 anymore, really. Uh, I want to go back to 16 and I don't want you to go up. Stick to 16 and, and yes, I found a bug in 17 and we need to go to minor 16. You know? So what you're going to do is use a tilde and then save your package.json. And now your package lock.json is out of date, obviously, right? Because it already had an installer. All what you do is just you do npm install. npm install actually overrides your package.lock.json, whatever it needs to override. So now if I do npm install, look at that. It says remove two packages. Beautiful. Why? Because those are the nasty version that I don't need, right? Let's see if it actually worked. So now, okay, it says 4.16. Let's see what actually was installed. 4.16.4. So yeah, so the latest patch for minor 16 is actually four right so that's that's what we have right now okay 416 sweet what if i want to be really safe when it comes to these things i cannot do npm install in that particular case right what i do is push package.json to my git repository i push package lock.json yes you have to commit this right because that's the exact representation of your a library right so you push it and then you need to actually install whatever is in lock you don't do npm install the moment you do npm install this is going to get overwritten right you don't you want to respect what the developer was actually tested on to do that you use another command called npm ci and we're going to come to that now but let's actually Let's actually reproduce a problem here. Here's what we're gonna do. 
I'm going to go to package.json now, right? And I, let's say I want to force a specific release. I want to re force version 1 here, 4.16.1, right? I want the package.json and everything to be 4.16.1, and I want to certify this release, let's say, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. And just this is just a test. I want I want to I want to for, force everything to be npm install. Now, obviously, if I do that, that will become 4.16.1 express 4.16.1. Okay, so that's what I am on right now. Okay, that's exactly what I am on. So I am going to change back this to a tilde. Right. What I the reason I'm doing this is I want to simulate Express actually having a new version up there, right? While I am locked in an older version, so I'm locked on 4.16.1, but the current version in four is 4.16.4. Let's say I didn't update for a while, and I pushed now. I'm pushing these changes now, right? So I'm I'm on four. Uh, I'm on 4.16.1 while my package.json is in 4.16.1 and tilde. So my package.json said, hey, okay, you can upgrade the miner. But no, I want to be safe. I want to stick on that particular version, 4.16.1. Okay, so what do I do? If you do npm install, what will happen? Package.json will get respected and we're going to jump to, uh, to the patch 4, right? We don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and remove node modules. So we don't have anything. This, this is a clean slate. Clean slate. We just cloned this library. Someone just push this and we're cloning this library. This is the current state here. The guy or the gal, 4.16.1, says 4.16.1, right? Uh, that's the original package.json. The package lock, however, is 4.16.1. It's exactly identical to 4.16.1. Sweet. Now, if I do npm install, that is dangerous. Why? Because it will follow package.json and it will say, hey, package.json is telling me what? It's telling me, hey, 4.16 and tilde. That means, hey, you feel free to upgrade the patch. But no, I don't want that because there might be a bug in the patch and I don't trust that. All right. So what you do instead, you do npm ci. And this only works when you actually have a package lock. This it acts like an install, but you're respecting the lock, the, 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 the cement, the solid rock file. When you do that, what version of NPM you're going to get? What are you going to get if you go to node modules here and go to express and the package of JSON? What was installed? 416.1. That is identical to what the developer machine had. This is identical. So a summary, you're going to use MPMCI, continuous integration, I believe that's what it stands for, uh, for repeatable, you know, consistent runs. If you want to test, you want this to be identical. You don't, you can, you don't want to use an install because that will try, if possible, to install the latest and greatest package, you know? if it's available, you know? So npm install, or i, I never used i for some reason. Like I always say install, and people are probably, you guys are probably yelling at me, just use i, don't say install, why, <laughs> right? So npm i or, uh, will actually use the package.json and that will, and may also write the package.lock uh, occasionally, you know, as we talked about it, you know, and update the, uh, the node modules to whatever, the semantic versioning that was in the package JSON, right? Uh, this is unlike uh, the continuous integration, which doesn't really touch these files. Just like, hey, this is what I need to respect. I need to respect the package lock. Respect that. Yeah, guys, let me know if I missed anything. Uh, uh, this is another site that is pretty cool. Found it in PM server. Uh, server calculators. Like, you say, hey, uh, tilde 4.16 will give you these puppies, right? This is the, this means, hey, I want everything, keep them minor, and you can update the patch as much as you want, right? Uh, you can keep the minor, but I want version one or up, you know? You can 
hey, I don't care about the minor, anything for or later, like 400 will give you pretty much any version four, you know? You can do three, I think. Three will give you only threes, you know? And I think you can do that if you want like multiple versions. I'm not sure, four zero zero. Yeah, exactly. You can do that as well. Like all uh, version three, all version four. That's pretty, a little bit wild if you ask me, but. And guys, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know what do you think about in the comment section. I don't know if, and, uh, if I get anything wrong or uh, any feedback. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Goodbye.